All right, Kevin. So basically, we get one four-inch duct for the whole house, right, with the high-velocity system. Uh, we range depending on your capacity of the unit. Our hard pipe is usually eight or ten inches, and uh, you can downsize depending on how many outlets you have left. So you usually eight or ten inch. And then branching off of there, we do flex duct, which ranges anywhere from 10 feet to 25 feet. Got it. So we can go additional 25 feet. Our maximum length of the hard pipe is 100, but you can usually get away with 150. And then you branch off of there with your flexible duct, which snakes in another two by four walls and uh, void ceiling voids and uh, joist spaces and things like that. So you can flex it in and out of tight corners and stuff. So it's easy to install. Uh, we usually tend to tell people 15 or 20% cheaper on install costs because of that easy to install purpose of it. Um, it's that air comes out at a higher velocity. So it's actually physics. Air in motion is at a lower pressure than the surrounding room air. So it draws in the surrounding room air into that low pressure airstream. So you're always going to get constant air circulation. It avoids stratification, hot air rising, cold air falling, and it keeps your th the thermostat satisfied longer because of that reason. So that's the main goals and main advantages of high velocity. We got a fully variable fan. So this is our zone system right here. It's a three right. zone, but we can have, have upwards to the of four zones. So, yeah. so you've got... We got our damper actuators right here and then damper blades inside there. And then we got a zone controller to wire in your different zones and that'll modulate all your different calls, tell the fan what speed to run at. So as zones are closing, our pressure transducer senses that static pressure increase and ramp down the fan accordingly. So you're still maintaining the same CFM, the same velocity out of the open zone that's still open. So what are the typical sizes for these unit, units and tons? Like you go from like a one ton to a five ton? Yeah, like so we offer anywhere from one to 10 ton. We offer a oh, one wow. ton unit. We offer a one and a half to two ton unit, which is our HEZ 50. Our HEZ 70 is two and a half to three ton. Our HEZ 100, which is this guy, is three and a half to five ton. We also offer an HEP 240, which is a 10, 10 ton system. So you can do anywhere from one to 10 tons with this air handler. Now, one of the things that I liked when we installed this system is the fact that the, the, redu the, 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 the grills look really nice for especially sure. if you're looking at if you're we're building a modern house it just kind of blend in with the lights yeah and honestly the homeowner's like hey where are my hvac ducts they're expecting that ugly typical metal register that's up yeah, there so of course if anything if people are doing this and they just want it to look sexy and look nice that's the reason of to go course the yeah we we like to our, our usual vent plate is this white plastic vent plate it's primered so you can paint it any color you want to match your wall color um, a lot of people like to locate those vents uh, high sidewall so that velocity isn't bugging anybody. Um, we have all sorts of decorative grills for uh, metal or wood floors. You can recess those into the floor if you want, but we got different decorative grills as well. We also work great with slot diffusers. That's quite a popular option now because people like the sexy look of the, those slot diffusers. You just pipe in a couple flexes into the back of the slot and it'll distribute that airflow through the slot diffuser as well. And in the keeping of building more efficient off the grid or whatnot, so it looks like the system's all electric? Uh, no, we, we do, uh, the, hand, the fan is electric. You can do he different heating sources. So you can do electric heat source, or you can do like a boiler, which would be gas fired. However you deliver the Got hot it. water to our water coil is fine. So boiler or a hot water tank, geothermal, or you can slide out that water coil and slide in an electric strip coil so you can have electric options as well. So it's, it could be all electric, it doesn't have to be though. Got it, so we had we did use this in combination with geothermal on the project that we were doing, so yeah. that makes sense why they chose to go with that option. So Yeah, you just need another pump and another loop going to your water coil and you can get a bit of supplemental heat or do your full heating load from that as well. So it works great with in-floor heat because you're already having a boiler system Got or it. a hot water tank. So you just need another loop to our coil and get some instant heat. Yeah. All right. So we're in Atlanta, Georgia. So let's talk about like how is the system we use for cooling? 
Uh, for cooling, we do we work with our, our evaporator coil here. That can be hooked up to a condenser or a heat pump. So that would be refrigerant cooling, or we do geothermal as well for cooling or chilled water. We will get a modular coil add-on for your chilled water that'll have a drain pan. This hydronic water coil doesn't have a drain pan under it, so it's going to be a, a return air uh, cooling coil. Uh, so basically, this, this can be used in any climate zone then? Sounds Pretty like. much, exactly, okay. yeah. We, oh, we're, we're a Canadian manufacturer, but we ship all over the world. We do a lot of business in China with their air purification product. We do a lot of business before the war with Russia, uh, UK, Australia. So we sell internationally, but we manufacture right out of Canada, yeah. Got it. So let's talk about your air purification product. So I see you've got, what, like a MERV 13 filter on there? Yeah, like, it's MERV 13 or yeah. MERV 14. There's three different stages. The first stage is just a particulate pleated filter. I think it's three inches. Second stage is UV lights. And third stage is a titanium catalyst. So the way those last two stages work, the first, the, the second stage, the lights positively charge uh, viruses, bacteria, COVID even, uh, smoke smells, other things like that. And the titanium catalyst will neutralize those things. So for viruses, it doesn't kill viruses, it neutralizes viruses so they can't reproduce and become a problem in the future. And it works great on smoke spells for forest fires and things like that as well. Got it. So is, is it the, so the filters first and then you're looking at the other systems after that? Yeah, exactly. Our, our system filter, uh, cooling coils on the return air side of the system and then our hydronic heating coil is on the supplier side of the fan and then your main plenum and then you branch off with your flex duct to your different rooms. Got it. Well, I appreciate your time with us and explaining no how the system yeah. works. Yeah. yeah. All right, I'm thanks. glad to get the exposure for sure. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, where can people find out more about this product? Uh, we Online at www.hi-velocity.com is our website. we got all sorts of information, training videos on there for information. Okay. All right. Thanks again, Kevin. Nope. Thanks for watching this video. And I want to thank all of the vendors that I've been interviewing at the International Builder Show and also KBiz for providing this amazing information. If you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up and we're going to create more content just like this. So make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you get more information. Now, if you guys have specific questions on any of these products, what you do is like leave a comment in the section below and I'll take it back to the manufacturer and ask that question and get response from you and probably create a video response just for that. So appreciate all the people that have subscribed and supported us throughout the years and manufacturers as well. So thanks again and see you guys next time.